Hey guys, what's up? It's Liam and this is Friday on the Baby Beaver Bunch. As you know, this week we're doing a kind of special video thing for Project Toasty, created, I guess, in part by Ariel. We are supposed to be showing 15 things that make up who we are. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble with this because I moved to Sweden for the year and all of my stuff is at home besides the very bare necessities which is good in that I only have the things that I really, really want, but it's bad in that I don't have 15 things that I really, really hold dear to me. I brought one suitcase full of clothes and one suitcase full of shoes and presents for the people I'm staying with. The first one, I guess I'll just say this stupid hat. The only reason is because LA, that's where I'm from. I love it in Sweden and I feel really at home here, but at the same time, I've been an L.A. kid for my entire life, and that's the only place I've ever lived, and I'm going to be moving back there and going to college there, and that's my home, even if I'm home here, too. Does that make any sense? The second, uh, it's this towel. Can you see that? It says Varsity Soccer 2010-2011, and that's the emblem, the whatever it's called, of my high school. I've played soccer for my entire life, basically since I was five years old and now I'm 18 and this is my first year not playing because I'm in a new country and soccer season ended right when I got here. Soccer has definitely been a major, major part in my childhood and my whole adolescent upbringing has been full of soccer. My whole family watches soccer every weekend kind of thing and it's just like a a big, big chunk of my life. <laughs> my third item, I guess, would be these headphones, because I've had these exact headphones for probably five or six years, and they're the best headphones I've ever had. Not only because I like headphones, it's just my connection with music. I don't like to listen to music that I can't connect to or relate to at all. I like to really have some sort of connection to the music that I listen to. Um, for example, my favorite band is Flat Sound, and I've spoken to him. He lives pretty close to where I live at home. He knows me, and he wrote a song inspired by me, and, you know, that kind of thing, where I actually feel like I know the person, and I know what they're singing about or playing guitar about or anything. And, uh, you know, I really like to feel with my music, and even if I don't know the musician personally, I like to at least have some sort of emotional connection to the music. I don't just want to kind of blankly listen. So I, I have a connection with these headphones. They've followed me through everything. And I have them with me every single day I'm here. On the bus, on the bus home, walking anywhere. And they keep my ears warm because it's cold here and I've never experienced this intense cold that we have here. My fourth item, my computer, I can't really show you that. This has followed me through everything. It really, uh, you know, the internet and the computer. It sounds stupid to have the internet and a piece of metal, like, help, help you somehow. But it's really, really helped me, like, find out who I am, find out some of the best people I've ever known in my entire life, and make relationships and... You know, I, this is the way I talk to my parents, now that I'm in Sweden and they're still in Los Angeles. This is really all I have. This is where I bought my plane ticket to come here. This is a part of me, definitely. Something that I hold very near and dear to my heart, which is kind of ridiculous, um, but it's been my kind of last connection to home, is um, my Spongebob pillowcase. Uh, I, like, I like Spongebob, I'm not like a giant Spongebob fan, but like, of course, I like Spongebob, and I've had this pillowcase for, god, I don't even know how long. Many, many, many years. This is just how I feel comfortable being in a random house in a random country with random people. This is like my connection to home and my own bed. Those are really the only things that matter to me. You know, home, music, my computer, and soccer, which pretty much was my entire childhood. These my my babies if you guys know me at all you know that i have a weird thing with clothes and i like to 
very, very carefully pick which clothes I buy and wear. And if I buy it, I wear it all the time. And I bought these shoes less than a year ago, and I've worn them, like, more than I've worn any other pair. You can see all the stains from my jeans, which I'm wearing now, so I can't show you, but I've worn these jeans pretty much every day for the past four months, and I haven't washed them. It sounds gross, but... But these shoes are my favorite shoes ever, and they're very, very comfortable. These are Clarks, if you couldn't tell, um, the original kind of desert boots. Can't show you my binder. That's part of me. I'm trans, so I have a binder. I have it on. There it is. Wow. Eesh. Well, now it's a broken guitar, but this is the guitar. I play guitar, I go to music school here, um, this is like a classic Spanish style guitar, I don't necessarily play classical music, but I don't play electric guitar, I only play acoustic guitar, because it sounds a lot better, I bought this here, because I needed a guitar, I have guitar lessons at school and I play in guitar ensemble, my only real hobbies are, um, guitar, the internet, if that's a hobby, listening to music, is, if that's a hobby, and soccer, this necklace, my mom gave it to me, and it's a moose. I had a troll cross before, which is like a Swedish tradition, in my family at least. I don't know if it is in the whole Swedish culture, but um, I lost that troll cross at a soccer tournament, and my mom replaced it with this moose, and I've always had this weird connection with mooses, moose, with moose, with elks, whatever, with these particular animals, because they're quiet and majestic, and they're a symbol of loyalty and wisdom, and I strive to be like a moose. It sounds dumb, but that's really my uh, thinking behind wearing this necklace, which I always have on, all the time. Um, I don't know the last time I took it off. But that's it. I've shown you like literally everything I'm wearing and everything around me. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. I guess I will take a picture of myself with all this crap now. I don't know if I could take a picture of myself with it. Oh well. Okay, well, I will talk to you guys next Friday and have a good weekend. Yep. Bye.